Hey, what's up guys? It's M and welcome to the channel. Here we talk anything art related, digital art, you know, things about Twitch and we just have a fun time. And today's video I'm a little excited about because it actually came after I struggled with something very intensely. Let me tell you the struggle I went through to figure out how to do this and I was like, you know, let me share it with you. So animated emotes is a new thing on Twitch, well not like super new, but it is new and it's been made available to all partners, but it's being rolled out to affiliates as well. And I did a video on how I do animated emotes. And if you'd like to check out that video, I'll have it linked. But the problem was I made these emotes and then quickly realized that both programs that I make emotes in can't export a GIF as a transparent GIF. Now, I'm sure if you are using a program where you are able to do this, you are very nice and good for you. But if you are like me and you are either using Clip Studio or you are very stupid and sometimes just do very silly things in Adobe, then you might have this problem. And let me tell you, your prayers have been answered and I'm going to give you a solution that's really easy and it doesn't take a lot of your time. So without me rambling on, if you like this video and it's helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the vibe that's over here and you like my content, then please subscribe. It really does support me and motivates me to make more content. So one of my other videos, we actually used this emote and we made it and animated it. And if you would like to check that out, like I said, I'll have it linked below. But we used this emote and unfortunately, when you export it, it does export with a white background. Now, if you're making this for Twitch, then that's not ideal. But if you're making it for something else, then you might like a white background. For the purpose I'm making it, I don't want a white background. I want it to be transparent. So that means that there's nothing in the background. And I found this very quick solution. Let me just say it wasn't quick to find the solution, but I did find a quick solution. So basically what we're going to do is the same idea as using a green screen, keeping in mind that you can't always use green because green might be in your emote. Like if you made a carrot and you use a green screen, then the carrot's leaves are going to disappear. Not that I know how you would animate a carrot, but you get what I mean. So what we're going to do is in this emote, we're going to make the background yellow and then I'm going to export it with that background. And then I'm going to open up a website that I'll also have linked below online gift tools. And it gives you two little blocks. Now all you do is you click on the left hand block and you open the file where you've saved or exported your GIF. And I've chosen it and it opens it. And then on the right hand side, it gives you a little preview of how your GIF will look. So you can see here that it's way too intense, the amount of flesh that's been taken away. So it just looks like a ghost crying at this moment. So what you do is you just change some of the settings down below. So the first one is the color. So you go and you choose the color closest to your background. Now, when I do my green screen background in the program I use, I make sure to choose the, if you go on the color block, the rightest most corner color, because that just makes it so much easier to choose the color for your GIF here. And then the second option is the percentage of how strong the green screen effect should be. And I think I settled here for something in the 50s or maybe even 60. I would suggest you play around a little bit and see because they will be feathering around the outline of your emote and then the higher your percentage go, the less of a feathering there will be. I would also suggest that you don't get finicky, like if it's a very slight outline, you can rather have a very slight outline that you see on your monitor than having it take away flesh because the emote's going to be so small on Twitch that when you export it with that little bit of outline, it's not actually going to show up. It might even make the emote pop a little. But when you export it and there's flesh missing, it's not going to be great. But for the video's sake, I also went and used a green background just to show you the difference because maybe the yellow had some debris, but the green shows up better. So I just went and chose the closest green to what I could get. And I think in the end, the green was a little bit more successful in exporting. 
So it's all going to depend on the tones that you have in your drawing and playing around with it a little bit in the beginning is going to allow you to make better choices later on. So then it's just going to take you a few minutes. But overall, this website is really helpful and I'm glad I stumbled upon it. It has made my life exponentially easier. So at the end of the video, I'm just going to quickly drag open both emotes, the left hand side being the yellow background and the right hand side one being the green background and the way that I'm showing it kind of is the same as a twitch background color if you use dark mode because only insane people use light mode then you can kind of see how the emote would show up and the differences between the green and the yellow and then maybe you can tell me which one was better was it better for me to use the green or was it better for me to use the yellow and also remember to tell me how grateful you are that I've helped you in this video <laughs> And that's basically it for today's video. It was a really, really short one, but I did want to share this amazing discovery with you guys. And hopefully it just helps one person. If it can help one person, you know, if there was a video like this on YouTube when I was struggling, I might have not wasted about a day of my life trying to find a solution. So I'm hoping that I make one of you guys' life easier. So let me sound like a broken record. If you liked it, subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Anyway, have a great day. Bye!